What's up guys, Nick here, welcome back to an episode of Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. In the last episode, we beat Hooktail, and we got the story of both Peach and Bowser, uh, when Mario got the first Crystal Star, and now we're heading back to the Thousand Year Door to see where the second hit, uh, Crystal Star is. Um, I'm not at the, uh, what's it called, the Thousand Year Door yet. It's because since we learned some new abilities, we can actually go to areas which we couldn't before. So now that we learned that uh, power up where we can turn into a paper right here, we can go through here. But we need a partner to get through this one. So can't really do anything there. But at least we can go to that room now. Which I find is pretty cool. Um, is that in order to get farther through the sewers and the sewers mainly the I guess the main hub world and it kind of splits off into separate areas which I find is pretty cool and uh, use your partners or the curses that you get throughout uh, your adventure to uh, go to different pathways which is pretty cool it's one of the things I love about this game Alright, so right there we need another uh, partner to get that. Because you can see the paper is peeled. Not just for decoration, it's actually used to get that, to get something. Uh, if we go in there, that's the. I think there actually is something secret here. I forget what it is though. But I think there is something secret in there. Alright, anyway, we're gonna paper airplane over to the other side. And that will lead us to the thousand year door. And we can actually go through here, jump on this, turn into a paper airplane. And then we can go across. If we make it, we can actually get a star sprite right here. And then if we go through this area, I think there's also something. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Pit of 100 Trials. Right? Yeah. Alright, what does it say? Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance of the Pit of 100 Trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. Alright, so... Yeah, we we might go there for like a bonus episode or something, but for right now we are the weakest we can be to uh, enter the hundred uh, pit of a hundred trials. But we might do it for a bonus episode or maybe before the uh, final boss. Um, all right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. See, I do find it kind of annoying that you do have to go back to the Thousand Year Door constantly to uh, figure out the next location of the Crystal Star. But, um, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool that you get to go through the sewers and you get to use the abilities that you got through the last chapter. So, it has its benefits, I guess. But, I mean, you can do that on your free time, basically, but... Instead, uh, I guess you could do it on your way to finding the next crystal star. Alright, so it looks like the next crystal star is in foresty area. And that's where we're going to be going next. Location of crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Uh, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Franklin and let him look at it. Alright, so we don't have to walk back there, but they'll teleport us there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I 
I see, I see. Crystal clear. Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those word woods. I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to the, those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting the Crystal Stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be, uh, too many unknowns? Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the Crystal Stars and the map. Um, I guess all we could do is head to Boggly Woods to find the next Crystal Star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the Princess princess's captors do but don't be hasty if you're low on items or health drop by the shop and in, in first i'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the, ac the ancient treasure all right but before we do that i actually want to take a look at here oh we got luigi okay, let's talk to him well hey big brother fancy meeting you here what a co -ink -a dink eh who me well, bro, I'm on a venture. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright, but... Uh, she's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members on the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear about... Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Uh, no thanks. Oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time, huh? Okay, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. I Like, they should actually do a Super Luigi. Do, uh, Princess Eclair. Saving Princess Eclair in the Waffle Kingdom. And destroying, uh... What was it? King Chestnut? Alright, so here I want to check out, uh, this place. Oh, wait, actually, I don't want to power up. Um, so I can either power up Coops or Goombella right now, and it costs three Shrine Sprites to level them up. I don't really know if I want to level up these guys, actually. I mean, I might... Oh, she do? She, she learns a Multi-Bonk, and uh, Coops learns Shield Shell. I mean... I don't really want to waste my shine sprites on those guys just yet. I mean, it is early in the game, and it would be useful to level them up, especially this early in the game, but I think I'm gonna wait till I get at least my third party member, because the third party member that we're gonna about to get is actually pretty good in my opinion. Alright, where even am I? Okay, I'm right there. Uh, can I jump up here? Yes, I can. And we get a piece of star. Or star piece. Um, but yeah, star piece you can actually use to, uh, get, um, some badges, which is pretty cool. Alright, um... Alright, wow, Koops is, like, still behind there. <laughs> Alright, now we got her out. Alright, so... He told us that it's down in a pipe somewhere. I think first we have to go buy the contacts lens. Which, uh, we have to talk to this guy, I think. If I remember correctly. Alright, so we're gonna go buy the contact lens because, if you remember... Uh, I think it was back in the first episode, uh, this girl, uh, lost her contact, and, uh, she told us not to move, but then we had to move, 
and then apparently we stepped on it so we had to go buy a new one all right so they're ordering it right now I just have to wait till uh, they call me in I think Hey, right, let me just explore back here first I think there's like a few star pieces I think there's one behind this trash can or something no all right there's a cockroach though Yo, what if I squash him? A lot of graffiti. Pretty cool. Alright, uh... Okay, we have a house here. I forget what this place is. Okay. Alright, I think that guy might have stole our 50 coins in the beginning of the game, to be honest. It's one of those blue guys, I remember. Alright, so if we go back to the shop... Let's ask them again. Alright, now we have to wait a little bit longer. I kind of forget where Boggly Woods is. But, uh, soon we'll find out. Alright, if we talk to this guy, he actually has some badges for us. And also, uh, item. Uh, double pain takes double damage. That just makes things harder. Um, increase jump power by one, but lose your hammer ability. Okay. Learn the timing for stylish commands. That can be kind of useful, but... I mean, you can look those up online, basically. Alright, maybe we have to, like, sleep at the inn or something? I kind of forget. Or maybe we're not supposed to be there just yet? I really don't know. Let's check it out them again. What did he say? Hey, fellas, sorry, but your contact lens hasn't arrived quite yet. I feel terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. Okay. Um, probably should have ordered it a long time ago. Um, uh, maybe we should, like, sleep at the inn? I don't know. I, I really forget where Bali Woods is. So, um, what if I exit out and enter again? It's definitely not past the guard, I remember that. Oh, okay, there he is. Alright, so here's a contact lens. We have to go buy it? Yeah, we have to basically spend 10 coins, which is really stupid, but... Alright, he's gonna talk about... No, I don't... I forgot to press no. No, God. Alright, so he's talking about the shop and everything. Alright, so we're gonna buy this contact lens. Then we're gonna exit out. And now we're gonna go give her the contact lens. Alright, so she's gonna leave. And. Yeah, basically just a waste of 10 coins, to be honest. But I think it, like, prevents you from going to Boggly Woods. Because, um... Like, if you were able to order it before, like, I guess I wasn't able to order it before Chapter 1. So, I guess if I were able to order it, then I would be able to enter Boggly Woods before. But, they stopped me. Alright, right here we have a shop. Uh, what do we have here? We got some good stuff, I guess. What's back here? Alright, I guess we can't go there just yet. Alright, well, where we're supposed to go is down here. So now that we have that little paper ability, we can drop down from the sewers here. I think this will lead us to Bali Woods. Alright, well, if I can actually... Uh, if I can actually, uh, jump right, but apparently I can't. Alright, so these guys are actually, they look a lot powerful than the regular Spindras, but these guys have spikes on them, so I guess I have more HP and also more attack, maybe.
Alright, so there we got four star points. Pretty bad, to be honest. Alright, so we have two pipes here, I think. Oh god, I don't want to fight you. Okay, um... I want to see where this leads us to first. Okay, this leads us to... Basically, the other side of the, uh... Of the thousand year door, kind of. Alright, trying to get that mushroom, but... These guys are so annoying. I don't even want to fight these guys anymore, like... That's how annoying they are. Alright, just want that. We got a slow shroom, mix... Allies recover HP gradually. Are you kidding me? I don't even have any invincibility frames. Is it because I didn't... Because I picked up an item, which... Like, got rid of my invincibility frames? Is that why? Alright, we got gradual syrup. Well, I guess I'll get rid of the dried shroom, because that only increases 1 HP. Which is really stupid. Alright, we can't do that just yet. Alright, let me go target him here. Okay, he's there. Okay, now I can go over. Alright, remember you can do something here. No, please don't attack me. God damn it! Alright, there's four of them. I'm definitely not fighting these guys. I don't want to fight. Like, seriously. Alright, please let me through. Thank you. Now you let me through. Alright, there's nothing here. Alright, well, that was a waste. Let me target him here again. Get over here. Get over here. Come on! I'm not even blocking these things. Oh, I didn't mean it. Oh my god. At least you have two chances of running away, though. That's pretty cool. It's like, uh, Mother 1. Alright, let me avoid this guy, too. There we go. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is actually time the jumps right. And, uh, go across, but couldn't do that, so I have to go back up and back down again, basically. So we gotta go through here. And then, alright, gotta cross. And then this will... Wait, okay, this does not lead us to Pugly Woods. Oh, wait, but up there it does. Alright, let's go explore a little bit. Doesn't seem to open. Alright, great. <laughs> uh, it's telling us about stylish points. Okay. We got a shop up there. Anything special down here? I think there might be like a star piece somewhere. Oh, okay, we got a treasure chest. What do we got here? We got a soft stomp. Alright, so we can stomp on guys with spikes now. But we have to equip it if we want to do that. How much? One? Alright, I might do it if I increase my BP. Which I think I'm going to do. Right? Or no, I'm increasing my HP next level up. Alright, wait, it's not up here, is it? Alright, yeah, I'm really confused on where Bobby Woods is. Alright, because this is an item shop. Wait, we have gold bars here. What's the point of that? What's the point of the gold bar? Alright, well I think you can actually sell them, like you can find them other places and you can actually sell them. I was gonna have to say, whatever, alright. Okay, um... Yeah, I have no idea where Bogley Woods is, I kinda forget, to be honest. Uh, what if I ask Goombella? We're down below Rogeport. Folks say there are the ruins of a thousand year town. 
Even though these buildings are crumbled, some seem safer than those above us. People living there must be... Alright, can you please give me some actual information? Like, that was just... Not useful information. Alright, uh... I really don't know where to go, to be honest. I really forget where Boggly Woods is. I mean, we can't reach here. Unless we can... Go from the other side or something. But, even if we could go there, it's that's where the chapter 3 is, right there. So, there's no real purpose. So, maybe we have to go back down here? I mean, it doesn't make any sense because... We can't go past this. Oh wait, can't we? What if we use coops? Nope. Alright, well, try to figure out a way somehow. Wait, I think I have a plan. Wait, no, I need to, I can't. It's not possible. There's nothing we can do here. Like, there really is nothing we can do. Even if we could made it, make it over to the um, other side over there, that's just for another ability that we don't have. So I think what we have to do is go back to the other pipe and find an area there. I mean, there's nothing really much to like find out with because all we have is all the only new abilities that we got were coops and the ability to go into thin paper but that's not really helping us and if we go past there there's no like pipe or anything what is there i don't really remember but i remember there not being one all right so there's nothing here we go over here. We can go down this pipe. And then we can go over here. I mean that area right there will just lead us to Oh wait, is it this? Wait no, this is just a Head of meadows, right? Oh wait, no, this doesn't. Oh, okay, we got a little guy. Okay, there we go. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frankly mentioned. All right, so he must be going the right way. So we have to go this way. And there he goes again. And where's he gonna go now? Eek! D don't eat me. Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Of course not. For real? Phew, boy that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? What? what? Why do you know about me? No, you... You must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No! It's the end. x knots What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues. To the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay, this gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots come to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree. If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess. They want the crystal star. 
Now that you mentioned it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy, but we punies don't know anything about any crystal stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help you reclaim our tree, I'll sure, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we shouldn't... I feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the crystal stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is the, this is great. I'm so happy. My name is Puno. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? In this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Alright, well there we go. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! Alright, so now we start chapter 2. Chapter 2. The Great Boggly Tree. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, alright. What will we run into next? Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the Great Tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Alright, let's just explore this place for a little bit. Alright, so we can't get past these, like, pine things. So I guess there's not much exploring. I guess I'll go save. Even though I am at pretty low HP from fighting all those guys. Let me see. Wait, Mario. Okay. Fine. Wee hee 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 hee. Time to go to work, lovies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. Hey, find that Mario guy and beast. Steal a map to Crystal Stars. Right? We can just do any. We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about all our, our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm. What's this now, Vivian? What? What's that? Your falling over there oh what do you mean this I found near the tree over there a while back isn't it a gorgeous necklace it had it was a lovely it was so lovely I just had to pick it up hmm Vivian for shame picking up someone's scraps disgusting greedy but enough about that Vivian my dear pack rat bring out the this sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotos. Mwihihihi. Eep! What? What? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have... Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wrenched little worm. Blaming me, blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I. Huh? 
g g Oh, what is it, Ma Marilyn? Huh? What's that, a mustache fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oof. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But, listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had a sketch. Silence, you dits. Such impotience. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that the only rational bull your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldum. Oh, you're horrid. Alright, let's try and sneak past him. Let's see, I have 9 HP. It's not that bad, I guess. Oh, wow, we can actually sneak past him. I might, actually, I think we're supposed to fight him. Alright, let's go talk to him. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Graham, right now. Uh, go -huh. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, what am I to do? Alright, so right here we have piranha plants. I think I just took damage. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, um... I kind of want to use Sweet Tooth, but it's not really that... It's not really going to help me that much, because... Like, I'm not going to recover any FP, or I'm not going to recover any HP for Coops. So I'm not going to use it just yet. But I might use it, like, later on or something. Oh god. Alright, he's going to use an Earthquake. Wow, 5 damage? To both of us. All right, so not that that definitely <laughs> deserves a sweet tooth. All right, so we're gonna use that. Of course, I get the point. It's the mushroom. Of course, when the HP really again. Again. Oh my god. So that's so that was the worst sweet tooth I've ever had. 1 HP. Are you kidding me? Yo, I'm gonna... We just not have Mario. Hey, wait, really? I thought mushrooms recovered 10 HP. But I guess not. Okay. I'm gonna use a power smash here. Does 2 damage and kills him. I mean, we're halfway there to level up, but it's still pretty, it's a pretty long time to get that. Alright, what do we have here? Honey, okay. Don't really want to fight anybody until I get healed up. Alright, so right here we have a pipe. There! Can you see it, that big tree? That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Do we have to? Okay, good, we can't. Um, Alright, we got an coupon right there. I don't really want that, I guess. I mean, it's not really the most important item. I guess I'll follow him now. Because <laughs> all that other stuff looks kind of confusing. <laughs> Alright, and of course now he's nowhere to be found, basically. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the tree is actually pretty small. But, here's the bigger scale. Like, it's kind of weird, because like, in the background, like, Mario is like, a good, maybe... A fourth of the size of the giant tree but now it's now he's uh not even like he's uh 
I don't even know, like, a uh, hundred, not even a hundredth. Because, like, you go inside the tree and there's, like, many levels and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Alright, he's gonna open the door, I think. Yeah, he's gonna go open the door for us. So he's gonna go up there. Okay, I guess we have to follow him. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get it through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry wart, but how the heck can we find someone's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need it to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh. Oh, got it. Flurry. Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says that she says she's a wind spirit who can wield the power of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Alright, well, personally, I kind of want to save and just end the episode, but... Looks like there's no save block here. I mean, I kind of remember there actually being one, but... Guess not. Alright, so there's Flurry's house right there. And that's where we're going to be heading to. And uh, she will actually be our third partner. I mean, she does look a bit weird, but she is actually a pretty good partner. She has this uh, power when you level her up, which blows away. Um, I think it's like any small enemy. I think it is actually any enemy, but it can't be a boss. So yeah, pretty useful. Alright, so I'm just going to skip over all this talking because I really just need to find a safe spot and get out of here. Alright, don't want to fight any of these guys. But I have to go to the top of this area. Alright, so I go up here. Use a paper airplane. Alright, that was terrible. Wait, I'm actually supposed to use that? I think I have to set something up first. Alright, instead I'm gonna just go over to the uh, beginning of the Boggly Woods and save there. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that off screen. So, anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door right here on Town Nick. Bye.